Now allow me to turn to Honorable Florence Bohr, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Labor and Social Protection of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency, you have the floor for opening remarks. Thank you, Moderator. Chair, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, on behalf of the Republic of Kenya, I'm honored to be part of this event. In the year 2020, Kenya was a recipient of the IFFD Award for developing the then draft National Family Promotion and Protection Policy and aligning it with the 2030 Agenda for the Sustainable Development. I'm pleased to inform you that the family policy was enacted in October 2023 and its implementation is ongoing. Specifically, Kenya has taken the following policy interventions to support families. One, the National Positive Parenting Program, where parents and caregivers are taken through a 15-week training to enhance their skills on positive parenting, specifically their parenting knowledge, attitude, behavior, and practice for holistic child development, family promotion, and protection. Two, the other intervention, is the National Care Reform Strategy for Children in Kenya, which reaffirms the significance and the leading role of the family in the care, nurturing, growth, and development of children. Three, the other intervention, is that Kenya is implementing cash transfer programs and cash plus initiatives that provide a safety net for vulnerable families, ensuring that they have access to essential services. The cash transfer program currently has a coverage of 1.3 million beneficiaries. Four, the affordable housing program is another intervention that targets the low income and middle income families to enable them to acquire a decent, accessible and affordable housing. And lastly, but not least, is affirmative action programs for financial inclusion that provide access to credit to youth, women, and persons with disabilities for social economic empowerment. Distinguished delegates, in conclusion, Kenya will remain steadfast in its commitment to uplift families and empower the youth to ensure that they are fully respected and valued as active members of the society. I thank you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency.